The last uh, two decades have uh, witnessed uh, rapid growth in global trade. Technology, uh, new players, in particular emerging countries, have changed the pattern of international trade. Production processes are more and more fragmented across firms and countries, and commerce is increasingly characterized by what we call trading tasks. Thanks to global value chains, uh, production has turned truly international. Now, the nature of trade has changed, but our trade data have not. Merchandise trade is uh, still measured at uh, gross value, so the total value of an import is assigned to a single country of origin uh, when it crosses the border. Around the world, many researchers, uh, statisticians, uh, business people work on uh, complementary ways to measure trade to try and reflect the global nature of industrial production and to better assess, as a consequence, the impact of uh, trade opening on jobs. With this uh, Made in the World initiative, uh, the World Trade Organization wants to provide a forum and a common platform for people who work on the measurement of trade flows and on uh, the impact of uh, global value chains. Intermediate goods, such as uh, parts and components, cross borders several times and each country participating in this global supply chain adds uh, a bit of a value. Many goods, for, for example, are assembled in China, but their commercial value comes from the numerous countries that uh, precede its uh, assembly. The labels uh, made in Germany or made in Singapore or made in Mexico may not reflect anymore the true picture. Today, it's rather uh, made in the world, and this is why uh, we have chosen it to brand uh, this uh, WTO project. We want to know the value added by each country in the production process of uh, final goods. So the Made in the World website uh, offers a forum for discussion, as well as uh, links to events, articles, institutions, uh, which are relevant to measuring trade in uh, value added, and to uh, studying global uh, value change and their impact on trade. Active participation, user feedback are welcome and will uh, contribute uh, to the advance of this uh, ambitious project uh, that uh, has already been undertaken by many people. In a nutshell, adapting trade data to today's trade. And in the end, uh, improved measurement and uh, better knowledge of actual trade flows will help better understand the interdependencies of today's national economies, support the design of uh, better employment policies and uh, better trade regulation worldwide, uh, which is our WTO business.